Come with me as we stare into the gaping maw of the beast. Hey, it's Chad with the Signature Spell Bomb welcoming you to the Bomb Secret Layers. In this episode, I'm going to react to Happy Yargle Day, which is a secret layer you might want to buy for your Oathbreaker collection. If this is your first Signature Spell Bomb video, I make content to blow up the MTG Oathbreaker community. And if you are entertained by this kind of content, then support this channel by like, sharing, and subscribing, and turning on notifications so you know when we make a new episode for you. My reaction to this product is based on what I think of these newly reprinted cards and how they may find a use in your collection. Since secret layers are so hard to grade, I'm just going to tell you about how I feel about this product. First, for some context, because not not everyone knows who Yargle is. Yargle, the glutton of U Ubor, is a four and a black cost 9-3 legendary frog creature spirit that made its appearance in the Dominaria set. So getting just a little bit deeper into Yargle's lore, Yargle, the glutton of U Ubor, was a human by the name of Yarkul who was once lieutenant in the demon lord Belzenlok's cabal. But when he grew too ambitious, the demon lord transformed him into a maggot as punishment. As the maggot squirmed away and was eaten by a frog, the frog grew and grew until its ravenous spirit of hunger and malice burst from its body. And so, Yargle was born. So, Yargle is some people's favorite one-shot commanders in EDH, because it's very easy to make him lethal. What you do is you pump him up and kill either with commander damage or poison. Due to the lore and play, he is some people's, including me, favorite characters. Now let's look at some of these gruesome alternative arts we've been given in this secret layer one by one. First off, we have Swords of Bowshire. The original art has this very classical feel. Pretty useful exile from the game ability, and, and it's got an okay quote. Now, the Yargle version of this card takes it and bumps it up a level. We have that same art, but it looks hilarious by putting this frog spirit in the original creature's place. And the new quote actually kind of tells a tale. He stood transfixed, able to do nothing, but ponder a life of peace and redemption. It was the worst five minutes of his life. So a little bit of humor is interjected. This is pretty similar for all of these cards. On Opt, we have Teferi holding an orb and thinking pensively. When we look at the new version of Opt, the statue that our Yarkle is standing in front of is a statue of the demon lord Belzenlock instead. And the new quote that goes along with this art is, the choice isn't whether to eat but when to stop, which again just feeds into this gluttonous rage and urge he has. Fatal push, we can see Yargle is literally pushing someone to their death. It is a very kind of humorous scene, in my opinion, but we didn't get a quote with this one, so I was a little bummed out about that, but Revolt does take up a lot of space on a card. Anger of the Gods, again the artwork is almost shot for shot for the original, where we have a figure hiding from firing rain raining down. The old quote was, there was no reason to pray. This was already an act of the god. The new quote, which takes it a humorous spin is, eating those clerics might have been a bad idea. <laughs> so I had to chuckle at that because that just put a smile on my face. Next up, we have Explore. So all they've really done in this one is they've replaced the figure standing on the hill looking out at everything that can be seen with Yarkle. The old quote is an Explorer's reward is a view of tomorrow's possibilities. And the new quote, which of course twists it, is an Explorer's reward is a view of tomorrow's possible meals. I'm a big guy and Yarkle is a man after my own heart. Now, so if you are a fan, I would say that these cards would get a 10 out of 10 for flavor for Yarkle devotees. However, if you're still on the fence, I feel like the art and quotes simultaneously tell a story and pay homage to the earlier printings of the card, and that's kind of nice too. Value is tough for the secret layer products, and due to the high variant of value for a secret layer, I really don't want to speculate, especially since the initial sale on this product has already closed. But again, certainly check with your LGS or TCG player if you're interested. As far as playability goes, these are all good, useful.
useful cards in their own right, but I feel like Wizards made a misstep in design with this product. Many players who purchase a secret layer to say bling out their favorite commander deck want to put it in that commander's deck, but in this case, only one of these reprint cards is in the same color identity as Yarvel and can be played in his deck, so it's not perfectly ideal. Now if you do pick up these cards, hopefully they will all find a home in your collection if you are so inclined to. Now that I have told you how I feel about the secret layer, what do you think? What cards you most want to see get the secret layer of treatment and I really want to know how you feel in the comments below. You can help out the channel by shopping using our TCG player affiliate link, our Inked Gaming affiliate link, or our link in the description for the signature spell bomb merchandise store. If you are interested in Oathbreaker format deck then please check out the playlist here. Thanks again, I can't make these videos without you and I wouldn't so please remember to subscribe and I hope this video blew your mind.